Think of something you use every day. Your phone, your car, your water tap. What about things like traffic lights, elevators, package delivery services? All of these things represent the sum of years of research, design, and consideration. Asking questions like, how can we design an elevator for sighted and unsighted people? How can we ensure all people have access to safe drinking water? How can we meet energy needs by reducing the energy consumption of everyday appliances and electronics? But understanding the skill sets behind these advancements is only half of the equation. Real world applications also require what we call an entrepreneurial mindset. An entrepreneurial mindset is the mental habit to recognize problems as opportunities, assess the impacts of solutions, and create value for others. You see, many people think about research as a linear process. Make a hypothesis, do an experiment, and analyze the results. But research doesn't exist in a vacuum. There has to be a reason why we're interested in an area of research. Without an entrepreneurial mindset, our research would be meaningless. An entrepreneurial mindset helps you make choices about the research you pursue and ensures the results get to the people who need them. If the engineering skill set is the crank, then the entrepreneurial mindset is the handlebars that steer the direction. This mindset is characterized by an insatiable yet productive curiosity, a habit of making mental connections, and a relentless focus on creating value. These are the three C's of the entrepreneurial mindset. Three C's. Not all C's are bad. Wait, really? The three C's of the entrepreneurial mindset help us focus our research. Here's how. Just ask Dr. Robert Fletcher at the Lithium Ion Battery Lab at LTU. So Dr. Rob, I'm curious about, well, curiosity. Current technology requires that lithium ion battery electrodes are laid down on a thin metal film using a slurry. That process can be messy, it can be dirty, it can be somewhat time consuming. What we were working on was how to lay down a electrode using a substance called a plasma. This material is dry and that pure dry process enables it to be used literally right away. There's a couple of really great benefits. There's no fumes or anything like that that we have to capture or control. The second thing is it's virtually instantaneous. Within minutes, take that electrode, form it into a lithium ion cell that we can take to test literally within minutes. This could really reduce the manufacturing time, and the amount of labor that goes into it. So as a result, the cost can go down and it could be a sizable savings in cost. If we can get people interested and curious and excited about that, that will broaden this pool of knowledge of people that can really contribute to a bigger picture and a broader understanding. Or Dr. Kim Hinthorne at Rose Holman Institute of Technology. Hi, Dr. Hinthorne. What kinds of connections are you guys making? Last year, I was contacted by um, someone who owns um, an ice cream shop out in Colorado. He has been producing vegan ice creams for his shop using a powdered base, and he really wanted to create a nice vegan ice cream from all natural products. He approached me and asked, um, with our food lab, would we be able to help him out and to produce something that he could just make in-house without buying some sort of unknown powdered base? And so I brought um, a couple of research students into my lab. The students then did a lot of research, um, looking and seeing, you know, does there have to be a certain percentage of fat content in order to make an ice cream be viable? What sorts of temperatures should we be looking at? And they began making their vegan ice cream. The connections that you make when you are doing research um, are really going to help with your creativity as well, because you're going to be reading a lot of research literature and you're going to be doing a lot of talking to other folks. And a lot of times that's where you're going to get your brilliant, creative ideas. Or Dr. Mina at LTU. Hey, Dr. Mina, how's your team creating value? We have over 600,000 bridges in the United States. They were built in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, many of them. And they are right now at the end of their lifespan. So we're trying to build new bridges with uh, innovative materials that can last 
for over 100 years. In our lab, we look at innovative materials. We are capable of simulating weather conditions. We have an over metal chamber so we can basically simulate any weather condition in the United States. We can simulate freezing rain, uh, freezing thaw cycles, how weather, cold weather conditions. We can simulate a hundred year weather conditions in 40 days. We try to come up with innovative system, innovative materials that we can use to reduce the rate of deterioration. So we build a bridge that can last for over 100 years. We don't have to worry about maintaining that bridge for the next 100 years. It will save taxpayers money. It will improve the safety of our roads. So less maintenance for, uh, for the roads means this accidents for the people traveling on those roads. So, whatever your research project is, approaching it with an entrepreneurial mindset as a mental habit can create more interesting, more novel, and more valuable results. Uh, is that good? You bet. Think of something you're doing right now. How could you improve it with an entrepreneurial mindset? Could curiosity uncover new opportunities? Could you connect your knowledge to other applications? Does this work create value for others? And can you articulate that value? Are you ready to be part of the next big discovery? There are lots of ways to get started in research on campus. Do a quick search on your university website. Your campus may even have fellowship programs or an entire office dedicated to undergraduate research. Or talk to your favorite professor or academic advisor about their research today.